what's up guys? Trainer Davey here with 2try.com. Let me tell you about a swimming drill that helped me immensely as a beginner triathlete, and I know it will help you with your swimming on race day too. I'm not gonna lie, swimming isn't my strength, and so I'm always looking for ways to improve myself and for my clients. I actually discovered this idea on my own and put the technique to use before I even knew what it was. It's called hypoxic drills, and let me tell you what that means and why there's a case for it. What happens is, when you put your face down under the water, your brain says, panic, there's no oxygen down here, and I need to breathe fast. But here's the deal, your brain actually sends those sensations before your body really truly needs a breath. And that's why if you haven't swam in a while, you'll notice it feels like it's, it's really hard to get enough air. What's worst is when adrenaline kicks in during a race and it makes it even harder to breathe in a smooth and controllable fashion. So here's something that helped me a lot and I promise it'll help you too. Let's get psychological in our training and do some hypoxic drills. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that hypoxic is a medical term that means reduced oxygen delivered to body tissues. It sounds scary, but don't worry. It's something that can easily be trained. So you're training your brain really to just relax and not spaz out under the water. Think about it. You could air swim all day long and you'd just be fine, right? So the concept is super simple, and I like to do this drill in three different ways. First, you can do an underwater swim, just like when you were a kid and tried to see how, who could swim the farthest underwater with only one breath. Next is taking limited breaths. Start this one by counting maybe something like seven strokes before taking a regular breath and continue swimming. Maybe start with only breathing every five strokes. After that, simply swim with head down as far as you can before taking a breath, and then continue your regular stroke to regain breathing pattern. This is a good one to do after a turn. Be sure to slowly exhale the whole time you're doing these and don't actually hold your breath. And feel free to stop and rest if you need to at any point in time. Use these drills a couple times with, along with your regular swim workouts and you'll improve your performance and your breathing efficiency. But it also helps to improve your mental game for swimming during a race by training that brain-body connection. So go out there, challenge yourself hypoxically. I'm Trainer Davey with 2try.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because I'm bringing out a lot of new training videos, tips and techniques that'll help you as a beginner triathlete.